27 year old Nashville singer Morgan Wallen told TMZ he's embarrassed and he apologized after they obtained video of him dropping a racial slur. Step into the captivating world of Morgan Wallen, where country melodies echo raw emotions and life's journey unfolds through lyrics. From a porch in Sneedville to the grand stages, Wallen's story is one of authenticity and rapid ascent. Join us in exploring the artist's rise, trials, and musical evolution as we uncover the heart and soul behind the chart-topping hits. This is Morgan Wallen, more than music, a profound human narrative. Arriving in this world on May 13, 1993 in Sneedville, Tennessee, Morgan Wallen's journey began as the child of Tommy and Leslie Wallen. With Tommy having once embraced the role of a local church pastor and Leslie dedicating herself to education, young Morgan's roots were grounded in diverse influences. Transitioning into adolescence, the family embarked on a new chapter by moving to Knox County, a shift that would shape Morgan's path. As the curtains closed on his high school years at Gibbs High School, his days were adorned with the dual responsibilities of being a pitcher and a shortstop, donning the jersey of the school's baseball team. Yet, the script of his ambition to play college baseball took an unexpected twist, as a senior year blow materialized in the form of an ulnar collateral ligament injury. During his childhood, Morgan Wallen received lessons in piano and violin. His father introduced him to a wide range of music genres, including classic rock classics. As he entered his teens, his musical interests expanded to encompass bands like Breaking Benjamin and Nickelback, as well as the works of rappers like Lil Wayne. Morgan Wallen describes his early adulthood as a period of uncertainty. Following high school, he worked in landscaping, feeling disheartened by the fact that he couldn't continue his baseball aspirations. It was during this time that he decided to reignite his passion for music and began learning to play the guitar. Developing a deep appreciation for country music, particularly artists such as Keith Whitley and Eric Church, he molded his musical style after these influences. Back in 2014, Morgan Wallen stepped into the spotlight by taking part in the sixth season of the popular music competition show, The Voice. During his audition, he delivered a rendition of Collide by Howie Day, earning praise from judges Shakira and Usher, leading him to join Team Usher. Though he later switched to Adam Levine's team, he faced elimination during the playoffs. Despite this setback, Wallen used the experience as motivation, acknowledging that while some things can't be controlled, striving to be the best version of oneself remains paramount. This phase notably elevated his visibility and industry connections. While on The Voice, Wallen crossed paths with vocal coach Sergio Sanchez of Adam Smash, sparking a collaborative partnership. Following this, Wallen relocated to Nashville and formed a short-lived band, Morgan Wallen and Them Shadows, alongside Sanchez. Fate smiled upon him when Sanchez introduced Wallen to Bill Ray and Paul Trust of Panacea Records. In 2015, Wallen inked a deal with Panacea Records and accompanied by guitarist Dominic Frost, released the EP Standalone on August 24, 2015. Notably, Spin You Around emerged as his debut single under this label, achieving gold certification from the RIA in 2021. During the same year, Wallen's demo caught the ear of his manager, Dirk Hemsath of Working Group Artist Management. Hemsath presented Wallen's talents to Seth England of Big Loud Shirt, leading to Wallen's signing with Big Loud Records and its publishing division. This partnership furthered his exposure, allowing his songs to find homes with various artists. In 2015, his maiden solo single, The Way I Talk, marked his official entry into the music scene, followed by the release of its music video in 2017. Wallen's songwriting prowess also flourished, evidenced by his co-writing of tracks like Preach Into the Choir by A Thousand Horses, The Fall by Dallas Smith, and You Make It Easy by Jason Aldean, in collaboration with Tyler Hubbard, Brian Kelly, and Jordan Schmidt of Florida Georgia Line. Moreover, he joined Florida Georgia Line on their tour, and together they created the hit single Up Down, which ascended to the upper echelons of Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. At the outset of his career, Morgan Wallen embarked on a distinctive stylistic journey, embracing a unique mullet hairstyle and an overall appearance that Kelly Fasana, profiling Wallen's ascent in a feature for The New Yorker, aptly characterized as that of an everyman rock star, not just a vocalist, but a persona in his own right. Wallen's choice to adopt this vintage-inspired haircut was kindled by a vintage photograph of his father sporting a similar look. Making his mark on the music scene, Wallen's inaugural studio album titled If I Know Me made its debut on April 27, 2018. The album's third single, 
Whiskey Glasses emerged as a turning point, emerging as his most notable achievement up until that point. The track claimed the summit of both the Hot Country Songs and Country Airplay charts. Impressively, it also secured a notable position in the broader Hot 100 chart, specifically peaking at number 17. Notably, Whiskey Glasses held the distinction of being Billboard's top hot country song in 2019, as well as its leading top country airplay track. Sana singled out this song as Wallen's signature piece, a skillfully crafted homage to both a woman and a drink, weaving themes of loss and rediscovery. In 2019, Wallen became a part of Florida Georgia Line's Can't Say I Ain't Country Tour, cementing his presence in the country music landscape. His subsequent single, Chasin' You, hit the airwaves in July 2019, eventually ascending to the second spot on the Hot Country Songs chart. Echoing the success of his previous work, this song also secured the top position in the comprehensive year-end rankings for 2020, underscoring Wallen's consistent artistic prowess. August 2020 brought another milestone for Wallen as his album If I Know Me reached the pinnacle, achieving the coveted number one spot on the Top Country Albums chart after an impressive run of 114 weeks. Wallen's trajectory in the music scene continued to ascend as he gathered a substantial following on platforms like TikTok, inadvertently morphing into an unexpected symbol of attraction. His presence became even more pronounced when he graced the cover of Billboard with the headline pondering, could Morgan Wallen be the next big global country star? The initial stages of the COVID-19 pandemic granted Wallen a unique opportunity to channel his energy into music creation. This creative phase culminated in his sophomore album, the expansive Dangerous The Double Album 2021, a two-disc collection that artfully merges country with elements of R&B and pop balladry. The unveiling of Dangerous marked a monumental achievement. It burst onto the charts with resounding impact, claiming the top spot on both the US Billboard 200 and the Canadian Albums chart. Notably, this feat hadn't been accomplished by a country album since Garth Brooks' co The Chase back in 1992. The album's singles, which included standout tracks like More Than My Hometown, Seven Summers, Sand In My Boots, and Wasted On You achieved unprecedented successes propelling Wallen even further into the national spotlight. The track Seven Summers etched Wallen's name into the upper echelons of the Hot 100, making an impactful entrance at number six. The song's excellence was also recognized by Time Magazine, which listed it among the year's standout tracks. In the wake of the album's release, Wallen etched his name into history by becoming the very first artist to concurrently chart six songs within the top 10 of the Hot Country Songs chart. Additionally, the album's influence extended northward with 23 tracks charting on the Canadian Hot 119 tracks on the US Hot 100. The events unfolded on February 2, 2021, when TMZ unveiled a video dated January 31st, capturing a distressing moment. In the footage, Wallen can be heard uttering a deeply offensive racial slur. Swiftly, he issued a public apology to address the situation. The aftermath witnessed a series of consequential actions. Several radio stations opted to temporarily remove his music from their playlists, while major music platforms, including Apple Music, Pandora, and Spotify, chose to eliminate his tracks from their prominent featured lists. Responding to the gravity of the incident, both CMT and the Country Music Association took measures to distance themselves from any content associated with Wallen on their respective platforms. His record label, Big Loud, joined forces with Partner Republic Records to take a definitive stance, indefinitely suspending his recording contract. As the repercussions continued, the Academy of Country Music weighed in, determining that Wallen and his album, Dangerous, the double album, would not meet the eligibility criteria for the 56th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards. Displaying personal accountability, Wallen himself took the initiative on February 10th to craft an apology video wherein he earnestly appealed to his fans to refrain from defending his indefensible actions. In the midst of all the controversy, Wallen's music managed to retain its popularity. Surprisingly, his album sales saw a surge after the incident, eventually propelling it to become the best-selling album of 2021. A positive turn came in April 2021, as Wallen made a notable donation of $300,000 to the Black Music Action Coalition. This was done in honor of the 20 individuals who had provided him with guidance following the incident. Those recipients were given the choice to either direct their $15,000 donations to a charity of their preference or to contribute to BMAC. Offering a glimpse into his thoughts, 
Wallen openly discussed the matter on Good Morning America on July 23rd. He mentioned that he had been in the company of friends, and they had engaged in thoughtless banter together, admitting that he was unequivocally wrong to have used those words. A significant moment occurred in August, when Wallen's songs were reintroduced to country radio with the release of his single Sand in My Boots. Despite the passage of time, the repercussions of his actions were still evident. He received nominations for Favorite Male Country Artist and Favorite Country Album at the 2021 American Music Awards. However, the invitation to attend the ceremony eluded him, preventing him from accepting any potential awards, of which he did not secure any. Despite facing controversies that impacted his public image, Wallen's popularity remained strong. Following the controversies, there was a notable surge in the sales of his album, Dangerous. Both physical and digital album sales experienced an increase of over 100% in the week following the controversy. He maintained his position at the top of the Billboard charts for an additional seven weeks, with If I Know Me even making its debut in the top 10 for the first time. Over the subsequent years, Dangerous continued to be a standout success. In an article for the New York Times, Ben Cesario referred to it as an unusually enduring hit. The album consistently broke chart records, including being the best performing album of 2021. In 2022, Dangerous achieved another milestone by breaking the record for the most weeks in the top 10 on the Billboard 200 chart for albums by a single artist, surpassing a record set half a century earlier. Dangerous also received recognition, winning Album of the Year at the Academy of Country Music. Wallen's achievements extended to securing awards for Favorite Male Artist and Favorite Album at the inaugural Country Now Awards. Wallen continued to release fresh music and maintained his reputation as a highly anticipated live performer. The Dangerous Tour, held in arenas and amphitheaters, consistently experienced sold-out shows. One of Wallen's singles, You Proof, became his second to grace the Hot 100 chart and the first to achieve a place within the top five. Both You Proof and Thought You Should Know secured top positions on the country charts. Wallen's artistic collaborations also thrived. He teamed up with rapper Lil Durk for the track Broadway Girls, which achieved a place within the top 15 on the Hot 100. The two artists even performed the song together at the MLK Freedom Fest in Nashville. Wallen's influence wasn't confined to his personal works. He co-wrote the song Wild As Her by Tyler Joe Miller, released in February 2022 and Brown Eyes Baby by Keith Urban, released in July 2022. In December 2022, Wallen unveiled a preview EP titled One Thing at a Time, featuring three tracks he had diligently crafted, One Thing at a Time, Tennessee Fan, and Days That End in Y. Looking forward to 2023, Wallen aimed to transition to performing in stadiums with his One Night at a Time world tour. On March 3, 2023, Wallen unveiled his third studio album, titled One Thing at a Time. However, an unexpected challenge arose on April 23, 2023 at Vaught Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi, just minutes before his scheduled performance. Wallen announced that he was unable to perform due to a loss of his voice. As a result, disappointed fans were directed to obtain refunds at their original points of purchase. In his personal life, Wallen and ex-girlfriend KT Smith have a son together who was born in July 2020. Thank you for watching this documentary. I hope you liked it. Have a great day.